DIY stock is so easy to make. I can't wait to show you guys today in this video. I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide of how I go about making veggie stock from leftover veggie scraps that I collect over a few months worth of using veggies and just rather than composting because there's no compost where I'm renting at the moment. So I decided to start collecting them in plastic containers or better option is in stainless steel containers and then you can just collect them up and use them to make stock once you have enough of the veggie scraps. So what I've done is I've just collected things like leeks, carrot, a few bits of greens like kale greens, celery greens and just things like that that I've used to make soups and other dishes over the past month and I combine them with a few herbs but if you have herbs already in the mix you don't have to add as many as I do. I add some organic coriander, some ground turmeric, fennel seeds, and some ground paprika that I collect from my bulk food store. I also add in some peppercorns, not ground, the whole peppercorn, some Himalayan sea salt, and some cumin seeds. You can add in other herbs and spices to cater it to your flavor needs. <laughs> and I also add in some fresh ginger. So. I'll share the link in the description below on how to make your own veggie broth but basically all you're going to do is chuck the veggie scraps into your pot, your giant pot with along with the herbs and spices and then you're just going to add in 12 cups of filtered water to make around two and a half litres of stock and then you're just going to let that cook for about an hour or two depending on how strong you want your stock to be. An hour is usually enough, but if you want it to be really strong, you can let it go for two hours. Just letting it cook on a low simmer with the lid on. Once everything's been cooked down, you can strain the liquid into a large bowl and with the veggie pulp scrap parts of the stock, you can actually blend them up to make veggie bullion cubes by freezing the blended up bits of veggies in some ice cube trays. Now you may need to pick out things like onion skins, garlic skins and other things like that that won't quite blend down so you have to compost those. Same with things like the rinds of like lemon and things like that. Then your stock is already to use. I store mine in glass jars. That's what I prefer to do because if you store anything in plastic for any duration of time the plastic can actually leak or leach chemicals into the food inside same with storing anything in plastic that's hot or that's fatty like or greasy so the best thing to do is to actually store the stock in glass jars if you have some available or you can store it in stainless steel containers just make sure that they really seal otherwise it will spill everywhere and then you can just store the stock in the fridge until you're ready to use it or freeze them into little bullion cubes to place in concentrated amounts in different dishes like soups and that or you can use right away which I will be doing to make a soup this afternoon which I'm really excited about. I'm making a veggie coconut curry soup kind of type of things, more like a curry than a soup actually. So that's what I will be doing. And that is how you make the simple veggie stock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know if you try it yourself or if you have other recipes for making veggie stock as well. It's a great zero waste idea for reducing the amount of food waste that we contribute to landfill considering that 40% of our food is actually wasted. And if you look at that in terms of a country, you would be the third highest greenhouse gas emitter after the US and China so it's like whoa. so this is just a great easy way to reduce food waste I will share in the description below as well my blog post on other ways to reduce food waste as well as how to set up compost if you're interested but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video